Flash Start uh, is one of the um, fastest uh, secure DNS in the world. Uh, we have been listed uh, in, within uh, the five top uh, DNS uh, security filters. And uh, uh, we operate against uh, security, cybersecurity, ransomware, phishing, and also content filter. Uh, just a sentence, which is very important. The vertical market most affected by cyber criminals in uh, 23 and uh, 24, uh, 24 were education, public administration, and uh, small enterprises. So it's, uh, it's very important right now to understand that uh, more or less any kind, any uh, market segment uh, can be affected, both uh, small, medium, and large, uh, by cyber criminals. And uh, uh, Gartner's, according to Gartner's, uh, at the end of uh, uh, this year, they said that uh, um, the threats and uh, the, um, uh, the malicious activity are uh, um, are on. Uh, um, huge increase. Regarding flash start, we can observe uh, uh, several billions of uh, uh, DNS queries per day, per week, uh, per month, uh, coming from more than 150 countries in the world. And uh, uh, we observed that uh, more or less uh, half of the 6 billion sites blocked by flash start DNS every day contained death threats. So uh, it says that on average, one of our um, one out of every 50 sites monitored turned out to be at risk and was blocked by Flestar. So it means that the um, potential threats is very important. This is uh, the most important uh, vectors of attack: the botnet, malware, malicious activity, phishing, and trojan. The phishing this year. Um, had an important booster because uh, day by day, several thousand of websites are phishing. Where do they come? So um, the problem is global, but, but there are some countries uh, which can increase significantly the amount of the attacks. Uh, United States and uh, uh, China, uh, even Russia, even Russia is potentially dangerous because in Europe uh, there's an important war uh, against uh, Ukraine, unfortunately, but the uh, United States and China are the most important uh, uh, geo uh, region um, if we consider the number of attacks. We have a live uh, uh, map. I can uh, share my screen uh, right now because I think uh, uh, it would be uh, nicer. Okay, so we have an... Uh, Okay, we have, uh, if you access flesta.com and if you click on threat maps, uh, you can uh, check live data with uh, um, the number of uh, threats we discovered uh, in the last uh, 24 hours uh, split by country. So guys and ladies, uh, these are uh, real data and the United States uh, we got more than 4 million of attacks, of uh, threats, of uh, DNS uh, dangerous query blocked uh, by, uh, from the US. And uh, yeah, Russia, Russia today is uh, pretty nice. <laughs> it, it's strange to say that Russia is nice today, but uh, yes, it is. China, 308,000 of attacks, etc. And um, I would like to uh, briefly uh, explain uh, what's Flesta. So Flesta is a uh, DNS filtering platform. Uh, it's multi-tenant and uh, uh, you can administer all uh, other, um, your customer base uh, through um, the same interface while your single customer can just access um, its own position, its own uh, dashboard. You have uh, different pages, the home page collects for you the most important uh, data. So for example, threats detected, blocked request, not existing domain and the total DNS request. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see the block categories and uh, the allowed categories, the malware blocks. So they recap uh, by statistics, uh, allowed and I, uh, not existing malware, etc. And uh, you can go in deep and you can, uh, for example, jump to the reporting section uh, and you can uh, uh, check, for example, that 
during the last uh, 24 hours uh, in this uh, trial, we got uh, roughly 30,000 malicious activity blocked. And you can expand the selection and discover uh, the single domain uh, which uh, were involved into this category. So same for, fish for phishing, uh, you can check um, the detailed section. You can also switch into the allowed uh, by category uh, report and see, for example, that uh, the most important uh, um, category was a CDN, it's obvious, content delivery networks, and we can see several, so fastly, CloudFront, etc. Uh, we also accessed uh, TikTok, uh, which is a very important category due to um, traffic increase, advertising, software, and touch. And uh, you can also have a recap of the uh, malware and uh, infected host blocked. You can see the, um, the number of attacks uh, um, against uh, uh, the different infected domain. And you can also check uh, the threats blocked reports. So malware, adware, malicious activity, phishing, uh, uh, phishing, uh, program scams. It's very easy and uh, uh, I will immediately pass uh, the, the conversation to Alessandro Campanella, but before this, I wanna explain that uh, through the protection tab, uh, you can control the flash start protection environment. How? You can, of course, check the threat protection tab and you can uh, expand the malware and threats official category. So you have uh, a different uh, category to block different uh, kind of attacks uh, such as anywhere, backdoor, botnet, phishing, uh, uh, virus, uh, hawk, worms. And you can also descend down and check uh, uh, the contribution coming from our category, uh, from our community, sorry. Um, we also classify the newly registered domain, which in the 98.5% of the cases consists in potential phishing and we put them uh, in a preliminary category in order to um, check and observe before permitting. We can also work with uh, content filter, parental control uh, in, um, in more country, in um, a lot of countries such as Italy is uh, uh, mandatory by law and you need to block, for example, pornography, alcohol, tobacco, uh, child abuse, etc., in schools or in a, a very sensible environment. You can also block granularly traffic um, for single applications. So, for example, uh, if I want to block uh, Match and uh, uh, Tinder, I can. And uh, if I want to block uh, um, some specific social networks such as Instagram or uh, Facebook, I can do it. Uh, by this tab, and I can also block, for example, the VPNs because uh, VPNs today are uh, um, play a crucial um, a crucial effort to circumnavigate to uh, to override filters. And in case uh, we block, we deliberately block NordVPN in order to uh, stop people from uh, uh, from overriding the filter. The IP blocking can help you. Uh, to block dangerous domain hosted into malicious IP server addresses. And also, I spoke before about the geoblocking. If you block traffic towards uh, Russia, satellite connection, and for example, some uh, Middle East countries, you will uh, probably be uh, safer and safer. Now, that's flashed in just five minutes. I want